Everyone's a liquid snack. Today I'm gonna to be ranking every single rose from Trader Joe's to let you guys know which ones are the best. I also have construction going on in my house. So I need to drink wine ASAP, okay? Trader Joe's is known for having cheap wine. It's their thing. I have consumed many a glass that I regretted later because cheap wine makes you feel like college. I'm not a wine athlete. I am a food athlete. So let's be clear, things are going to get drunk. <laughs> I was gonna say tipsy, but let's just be honest about it. I don't remember the prices of these, but I will put them on the screen so that you guys know how much we're talking about here when it comes to the investment. Investment. I'm sure you're thinking the cheaper the wine, the less delicious it will be. But is it? You can only know if you taste all of the wines and then decide. I'm gonna start with this Frida. We might wanna hold back on those pours. And you might have noticed that this was basically almost empty because Matt and I got into it last night and he loved this one. I thought it was okay. Let's see how she tastes. Okay, I don't know anything about wine. I don't know anything about fruits, tannin bombs, notes, whistle tones. I don't know these things. Oh, this is product of Italy. I love it even more. Cause you guys know I speak such fluent Italian on this channel. I didn't like it as much last night as I do today. Probably has something to do with the fact that it's 2 p.m. and I'm excited to be drinking right now, so this is pretty good. It's smooth, and I'm already starting to feel a little warm. Isn't this cooler the cutest cooler you've ever seen, P.S.? I just got it in the mail recently. I'll link it below if you're interested. It is so freaking cute. This one looks fancy. It has a lot of words that I can't pronounce, which is usually a good sign. This is a product of France. I've been to Paris one time, and the people in Paris did not like me. Probably because I was like, Y'all have friendship bracelets. <laughs> no, I didn't say that, I swear. But I definitely was like, y'all have french fries. <laughs> and they're like, we hate Americans. <laughs> okay, not too much, Erin. On a scale of one to 10, how bad do you think I'm gonna feel tomorrow? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. The 2019 year, that was the year before everything went to poop. Things were so much better then. We were so ungrateful for all that we had. Let me go back to 2019 right now. Let's see. Ooh, this is zingier. It's like a lemon zest. Has kind of like a sour aftertaste. The other one was kind of more like therapy. This kind of feels like hanging out with someone that you really can't stand. Okay, moving into the Whispering Angel. That sounds like a band from like the 90s. I love this little emblem thing here. I dated a guy one time when I was in college and I went to go meet his parents essentially and I knew it wasn't gonna work when I walked into his house and he had a family crest on the door. He like described to me how the family crest was I was like, dude, you and I are not gonna work out. Your family has a crest. My family has a trailer. <laughs> Whispering angel. Doesn't that sound like an Aerosmith song or something? In the arms of a whispering angel. I swear I'm not drunk. Also, I'm already bleeding. Ooh, it's kind of like a nice balance over the first two. It does have a tart, but it's also smooth. I'm not really sure how many sips I should be taking. Moving into this sexy lady. Okay, this is also, I'm sure French, but this is from like the countryside. And y'all know I'm a country girl, so I think I'm gonna like this a little bit more. There is something so satisfying about watching this happen. Remember when I said I was gonna have a little Pores. <laughs> I already forgot that I said that. All right, Miss Sognol. 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 Ooh, I like this one. That's full. That's robust. It's full. It like expands like a marshmallow in your mouth. This is the 2020. Who knew something good could come out of 2020? Okay, I'm not gonna pour this out. I'm gonna save it for later <laughs> because that's sacrilege. Let's go into the floor. De trail. Fleur de tri. It's also French. Oh my gosh. Are all roses French? <laughs> it's very aromatic with notes of juicy raspberry on the nose. I don't even know what that means. Is a palette square or a triangle? Like, what's the opposite of a round palette? Ooh, it, it smells like something. It smells like. Cast smells poopy. Kind of smells like a public restroom, like a porta potty. That wasn't in the description. <laughs> Ooh, it tastes better than it smells. It's almost buttery. It almost has like a soft velvety type of texture to it. I actually like this better than I thought I would. 
I mean, look at her. She's trying to do fancy things over here with these ginormous hands. Now this branding is something that speaks to me. It's called Fit Vine. It's this guy who's running with grapes and wine, exercising, balancing his fitness life with his indulgent life goals. I love the branding, I love the logo, but if I'm being really honest, the branding looks too good. It almost looks like you can't believe that the wine is as good as the logo. I have a headache over my left eye currently. This is getting harder by the sip. It's fruitier. It is in fact as delicious as the wine is cute. Ugh. This has my hair on it, that's not the point. This has a chicken on it, and y'all know I love chickens. I grew up in the country, and we had family and friends who all had chickens and goats and extracurricular creatures. This chicken is wearing a scarf. He looks like one of my college professors. <laughs> is it the wine, or does he actually look like one of my college professors? It's almost like Sour Patch Kids. I think it's nice, but I don't know if it's my favorite, which makes me sad because you guys know I love chickens. I love them. Let's move into the Landonnet. This is why I could never be a waitress at a fancy restaurant because you could never go to a table and open a bottle of wine like that. I'm like, sorry y'all, this thing is stuck. No. It's just a hard no. Demont, Demont. This one is crafted from organic grapes. We love it. Grown on mountainous vineyards. Cheers. Ooh, it's very light, it's very fresh. This would be nice with some berries in it as like a frosé type of, ooh, mm, mm, we like it. Let's move into Reserve de Chastelles. Pray for me, I really am butchering the names of these. This bottle of wine feels expensive. I don't know if it's because it's extra long, just how I like my wine bottles. Oh wait, <laughs> I love that one. That one is so good. <laughs> I'm gonna be so tipsy soon. I think it's already happened. We're moving to the top, baby. We have made it to the twist tops. I never thought we'd get here. This is a Chile Rosé, which has a nice ring to it, I'm not gonna lie. This won some awards. This is the best of nation, 2017. I don't even remember 2017. I don't even remember an hour ago. It's okay, it's forgettable. I don't even remember what just happened. It has like a weird aftertaste. It kinda tastes like when you used to like lick pennies or quarters. Not that I've ever done that or anything, I'm just saying maybe there's someone out there who might have done that once. Okay, I feel like I've had this one before. Ooh. What I like about this one is it's a little bit sweet, but not too sweet. It's like the perfect amount of sweetness that you want in a rosé without feeling cheap, if that makes sense. I like rosé, I think. <laughs> I like rosé and cheese dip and ketchup. Did I already try this one? They all start to look the same after a few minutes. Let's see how I feel. This tastes like a rich woman's perfume in a good way. It tastes like you're at a dinner that you can't afford, but you're there because somebody in your family is paying for it. This tastes refined, it tastes ritzy, it tastes rich, all the other R words that might apply. I don't know if I would get it because it tastes unrelatable, you know? I do wanna get into this Charles Shaw, which is Trader Joe's cheap wine. I think this was maybe two or three bucks. This says the grapes are organic. It's so cute, but you're like, mm, you must be trying to hide the real hangover over truth of this drink. Honestly, that is not too bad. Wow, that is unexpected. For something that's so cheap, I just spilled this all over myself. Now will it make me regret living tomorrow because of my hangover? Maybe, but it is made with organic grapes. I'll let you guys know on Instagram how I'm feeling tomorrow. Dude, I think that's in the top 10. Next is this Emma Reichart Pinot Noir Rosé. Oh my gosh, are you guys still here? If you are, please subscribe to my channel because the hangover tomorrow is really gonna hurt and it would make me really happy if you guys subscribed. Let's see what Lily Reinhardt, I mean Emma Reichart has to say. <laughs> 
either I'm too tipsy to tell or this is very forgettable. I think it's forgettable. I'm sorry, Lily Reinhardt. Maybe next time. Okay, this is a wine I have seen many a time at the grocery store, the Cherry Blossom. No hate against this company, but this looks like basic wine. Like this doesn't look fancy. It looks like your average everyday going wine. This is what people, do they just do this? And then it tastes better. I wouldn't even dare take a seven second Seven seconds sip of that. This is the Cara Rayon La Rose, south of France. But this kind of looks like a San, like it would be made in San Diego or something. This doesn't look like looks. <laughs> is rose wine or is it just rose? You know, is it its own category or not? Too much, too much, too much. This is the close to rub as. This is, does anybody have any cheese dip they can bring over? This is as close to rubbing alcohol as any of them have come so far, which if you have an infection, maybe it's handy to keep around. Okay, let's go to Esperal. This is a Portuguese wine. This also is very red. Come in. Ooh, they're bubbles. Oh, that's fun. Oh, that's like getting on a little wine roller coaster. You're just like, woohoo. It's like a champagne meets a rosé, a little sweet, not too sweet. Ooh! I want to do that over and over again. We are narrowing this list down, folks, and I'm still standing. Praise the Lord. This is La Granja. I, I like it, but I don't love it. I don't want some more of it. I try so hard. I can't even stomach it. You guys know I had a music career once? True story, I have like three albums. Don't Google it, don't Google it. Guys, we have made it to the final Rosé, and this is the Rosé of Pinot Noir, Castle Walk Rhinery. Rhinery. <laughs> it is out of Monterey County, which is, I think, in California. Oh yeah, that's where Big Little Lies took place, in Monterey. Guys, this video has gone off the rails. By the way, if you are here at this point in the video, please first let me know in the comments. Also, there is a button here where you can actually give to my channel. There's like a little, like, thank you or or little dollar sign thing, you'll see it. There's an icon on the bottom where you can give to this channel. And with that money, I'm actually going to buy everything on the menu at Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> it's my goal. And I think it's gonna cost me like three or $4,000 to buy every single item off of the menu. So if you guys wanna see that video and you're invested in that journey, let me know. You can give whatever you would like. You don't have to give obviously, but I just thought it would be fun if we all came together for one united goal. I think it's perfect to end with a big little eyes wine. Oh, it tastes like um, cologne. It's weird, it makes me think of the Playboy Mansion, which I don't even know if that's still a thing anymore, but I've been there a couple of times. And when I go, there's a specific smell in that place that I don't know is a good thing, but this tastes like the Playboy Mansion smells. I will absolutely not have another sip of that. If you're thirsty for some rosé, I have your top 10 best rosés you can get at Trader Joe's, and you can also get these rosés at other places as well. I can't pronounce some of these, so just look at the photo. Does, okay. In my 10th spot is the Esperal. It is a rosé from Portugal. Delish. This one has a little bit of buble in it. Not Michael, unfortunately, but more of the carbonation bubles. Surprisingly, at number nine is the Tupac Chuck, the Charles Shaw. Charles Shaw is hard to say when you're tipsy. Charles Shaw. Charles Shaw. All right, coming in at number eight, the Cote de Provence. This is a very fancy schmancy tasting wine. This is a wine where your friends are going to think you paid a lot of money for it. It kind of tastes different than all the other options on the table. We love another organic option. This is the Demont. Very light, very crisp, easy to drink. Oh, we gotta go back to the beginning where Whispering Angel made its debut. Super good, it has a crest on it, but don't worry, it is still relatable. The Whispers of Angels taste delicious, I can confirm. I cannot believe I can speak right now. <laughs> Next we have the Aloma Negra. It is also very delicious. It won 2017 Best of Nation award. I can see why. Next is my husband's favorite. It is the Frida Rosé. The label alone is precious. Everything about this is so good. I mean, obviously it's basically empty. In third place, I have the Cote de Roses. I don't know if that's the right way to say it. Not only is this bottle fancy AF, it tastes so good. In second place, we have the Reserve de Chasteles. This one. French wine. So good. So beautiful. The bottle the girth. 
it deserves to be in the second spot. The best rosé that you can buy from Trader Joe's is the Saint Signal. It is so, so drinkable. <laughs> Number one, I can't believe I made it to the end of this video and I can still speak moderately well. Have you had any of these wines? Let me know. 